Alright, hello and welcome to Kicks with Imbo. That's what this will be called now. Uh, it was formerly known as Slim Kicks, but it's been a while since I've been back to it. I kind of want to change it up, so now it's Kicks with Imbo. Still going to be the same kind of content going on, but I'm going to be more committed to it. What better way to start off with a collection video like I did about a year ago? But everything's a lot different now, so I'll cut this video into snippets like I've done before in the past because I do shoot on my iPhone and I don't have the biggest storage. So it'll be in snippets, so starting out will be my Adidas collection and I'll work my way all the way up to the Jordan collection. So starting off the Adidas collection is the Tricolor Prime NMD. Uh, it's nice, nice soft upper with this kind of sock collar around it. Uh, Tricolor as you can see, nice boost all around with the Lego blocks. Uh, they're dead stock, they're a size too big for me. So this is another pair, this is one of the many pairs that you'll see that I'm trying to get rid of in my collection. So this is one of them, uh, size 12, I got them for retail when they first dropped, so I'm just pretty much trying to get rid of them. And then this next pair is also a size 12, the Yeezy Cleat. So I don't play football and these are a size too big. And I saw them for a good price, so I figured I'd pick them up. I have a, a friend who actually plays football for college. So I figured I'd pick them up for him. So whenever he gets a chance, he'll be getting them. But they're real nice. It's kind of like a new buck instead of a suede there. The Yeezy V1 stitching and the pattern up top and then the strap on the back. It does not have boost inside like the other cleats do that are coming out, but still pretty comfortable insole. So these two are my only Adidas in the collection. And starting off the Nike and other, the Nike runners and other section is the Saucony Shadow 6000. Uh, these are nice, cheap shoe. If you want a shoe that you can just beat up or do whatever with, uh, they're pretty comfortable. Feel it much like an Air Max, but they have a lot of different materials like mesh materials and like a new buck. So it's all a pretty comfortable shoe. Uh, easy to wear, pretty much. Nice yellow and black shoe. And then next is the Revis Island One. Uh, these are nice. Uh, I didn't get them when they first released or however long ago it was but i always thought that they were an interesting looking shoe but i always think that whenever a shoe has like a strap on it like that it's always interesting but it's that black and bolt pops pretty comfortable uh nice shoe to wear if you're going to go to the gym or something like that and then next up is the nike dunk low uh fast times collab i guess you can call it uh it's really interesting like bleached denim but it's real nice and then has the fat tongue with the black and gold uh, accents on it and then I switched into the black laces but nice gum bottom uh, white tumbled leather on the Nike sign and then just black cheap leather on the uh, other parts of the shoe but it's a pretty nice shoe uh, it wasn't bad it was like $45 at the outlet and then next up is the first shoe that I ever got in my collection the Nike Air Max 90 Sunsets. Uh, I had to actually repaint the midsole on these because I've had these for four or five years now. Uh, they're the first shoe I ever got, so they mean a lot to me. But it's real nice orange that starts here and then it goes into a yellow, much like the sunset does. But it's a really nice, clean shoe. Uh, it's really nice for in the summer. And then next up is a uh, Calypso Roshi One. Uh, it's one of like the first Roshi colorways to come out. Uh, I like these Roshis because they have the actual foam like insert. They're really comfortable. But it's a nice pop colorway that pops a lot. And it's kind of hard to wear sometimes. But it's another nice shoe for like the springtime. And then next up is what I like to call the Turtle Dove uh, Roshi Flynets. It's kind of like the poor man's Turtle Dove. I guess you could say. But it's basically an upgrade from the Roshis. Because other Roshis would just fall flat when you do things like that to them. This one kind of has more form to it. A little bit more cushiony. Uh, it still has the same like insole, but it's a different like midsole and stuff along those lines, but still a very nice, comfortable shoe. And then my last Roshi is the Yeezy Roshi. Uh, I think this is supposed to be for the pure plat colorway. I always forget, but nice like mint outsole and midsole, I guess you can call it. Uh, a lot of people ask if these glow, these do not glow. I wish they did. I'll probably get some paint and do some glow in the dark paint job on them, but has hints of pink on it from the midsole to a little Nike sign and then this like lava Nike sign here and then just a different like black upper that's kind of supposed to be like the easy and then the like different kind of mesh that's on the black here. 
here's an eye popping pair that will close out the Nike, the other Nike trainers and etc. Uh, section of my collection is the Tiffany Dunk highs. Uh, these I got for about one sixty. I didn't think that was a very bad price at all. I mean they were dead stock, and uh, now they're mine. So I wore them. Uh, not, not too much wear on them as you can see from the from the soles, but really nice pair. I really like the way that teal is. You don't see many pairs with that kind of teal, and then you have like the black kind of like croc here and then the silver nike on it and then that diamond on the tongue so it's a real nice uh, pair that pops so that'll close out the nike uh dunks roshi's air max saucony etc kind of uh section so moving on next will be the nike basketball section as you can see and then after that will be the jordans Starting off Nike basketball is the Kyrie 2 Infernos, uh, my only pair of Kyrie's, really nice shoe. Uh, if I had to recommend basketball shoe, these would definitely be it. Uh, very comfortable, the strap helps form with the ankle and then the padding appears very comfortable. But th this pair is really nice, has different colors like the reds and oranges on it. And really cool design on the tongue, on the strap, give it a nice pop. And then... My only KD is the KD5. Uh, the KD5 Easter was one of the first other shoes I saw and had to have it eventually. Uh, this little mark right here bugs me because that's literally the only issue on this whole shoe. I mean, it's kind of hard to mess up KD5s besides doing that. But really nice shoe. Crazy Easter print there on the Nike swoosh. And then a nice light blue to regular blue on the tongue. But overall really nice shoe glad to have it looks really nice on feet and then starting off my lebrons is the gumbo league uh, all-star game from a couple of years ago uh, these actually do glow as you can kind of see uh, camera doesn't pick it up very well but a little bit of glow uh, really uncomfortable shoe that's why these are one of the ones that i am getting rid of so but uh you just, it's just really hard to wear because this upper like foam posit material is really uncomfortable on your ankle but and then next is the lebron 9 cannon uh this is a really nice shoe i am getting rid of it just because of the price i got it for i got it for a steal so figured i'd be able to make some money uh, the only issue is that little mark right there but other than that it's a really really nice colorway nice clean shoe uh, nice bright colors and a nice combination of colors as well and then another LeBron 9 that's a little more subtle LeBron 9 peach mangoes I forget at this time but really nice uh, 3M on the Nike swoosh but really nice uh, soft orange there's a little heel drag there but not bad pair to wear if you got to run out real quick or something like that. And then the LeBron 10 Cutting Jades. Uh, these can almost be like a Christmas shoe. But the green and red is really nice. And then the black accents. But the tongue patterns a little different than the other LeBrons. And then it has the sock liner. But it's a really nice uh, LeBron 10. LeBron 10s are one of my favorite LeBrons just aesthetically. Uh, along with LeBron 9s. And then... My last LeBron is the LeBron 10 Denims. Uh, it has this kind of dark wash uh, denim. It's not black, but it's like a navy blue denim with uh, the lighter Nike sign that's in the actual denim itself. And then it has the bright pink here. And then kind of a pink glitter outsole as well. And then has these kind of like luxury Wax, not waxy, but luxury. Kind of feels like barky almost. Uh, laces, and then, and then like a high quality, like a lot, uh, leather, as well as on the tongue. And then the liner is also a leather like that. And then you can't really see it, but the pink and sole is also uh, like a leather as well. 
So this is a really nice uh, LeBron 10. I really like the whole EXT kind of thing, like the mint and the uh, hazelnuts as well. And then starting off with Kobe's, Kobe 9 Silk. Uh, these really pop. Uh, it's not the easiest shoe to pull off in terms of colors, but it's a pretty nice shoe. Uh, another outlet find. And then next up is a KD5 uh, ink spill splatters, whatever they're called. Really nice when the light hits it real quick. It kind of looks like it's shining. Uh, these are when I got these. This part was bent down. It's kind of supposed to be pushed up more. But uh, really nice uh, shoe, nice colors. Uh, it's a Kobe 5, so I like to have, if you can't tell, different numbered uh, shoes. And then next up is the Kobe 9 Easter. These were another early pair of my collection. Uh, I got these when they came out with the Easter pack. Uh, they were the nicer pair, so I went with these. Uh, nice greens to go along with the shoe with the Volt and 3M on the Nike sign and the Kobe logo as well. And then my favorite Kobe, in my opinion, is the Kobe 7. Uh, this is part of, I guess you could call it the Beast Packs. Uh, it's uh, This is supposed to be the Cheetah, as you can see on the back. Uh, it has orange hints on the tongue and then an orange is gray, and then to a gray Cheetah print on the upper. Pretty nice shoe. And then along the same lines, is the Poison Dark Frog, the black and uh, mint color. I had the other colorway, I like this colorway better. Uh, it's more, it goes along more, uh, black and kind of mint, as you see the Poison Dark Frog on the back. I would like to get the Sharks as well and get the, what the uh, Kobe 7s to kind of complete the whole animal theme. And next up is the Kobe 11 Bruce Lee, uh, has the stripes on the back. Uh, this is a Kobe Elite, so it does have the fly knit upper, yellow, and then as you can see there's red, a fly wire that goes between the fly knit and then it goes to black in the back. A uh, really nice colorway, uh, really easy to pull off, yellow and black kind of shoe. And then last pair is the Kobe 8 uh, ID that I bought off of somebody, I did not customize these. Uh, it has the shedding skin upper and then has a red liner and the glow bottom so as you can tell this is supposed to be uh, another easy inspired oh wait no maybe these are the pure plats and the other ones were the solars or something but these ones are supposed to be pure platinums but uh wound up covering up that with paint i probably shouldn't have done that but it was yellow and i felt like it messed up the shoe but either way still really nice shoe this is supposed to glow but as you can see no glow at all uh, really unless you really really charge these but still really cool uh, Kobe so that wraps up the Kobe section uh, real quick I'm just gonna go in review of all the shoes that I am getting rid of from the collection and showing you a couple pairs that you haven't seen yet already in the video so these LeBron's uh, 11 gumbo all-star games blah blah whatever you want to call them they're for sale LeBron 9 Cannons for sale. These uh, rookie foam posits are for sale. Uh, a pair I got when I first started out. It's just not my size. I'm too bulky to try to even uh, pull pull my foot into for it to be a half size too small. And then that stock pair of Spizikes that I got uh, from a, like a mystery pair kind of thing. Uh, not bad it's just not my kind of thing but this is your kind of thing uh, they could be for you and then Jordan 12 cool gray uh, as you can see there's a little bit of yellowing on the outsole I did try whitening certain parts of it but it just seemed like too much of a project for me at the time so getting rid of these as well uh, it's a nice colorway I would like a dead stock pair without the yellowing and then wolf gray fives Sorry about that. Uh, the suede, it's not the best. It doesn't really, as I like to say, talk to you. It doesn't move really. Uh, there is yellowing on the bottom. Creasing is not so bad. But as you can see, I have plenty of fives. Along with the fire red five silver tongues. 3M on the tongue. Uh, these aren't 
too bad. Uh, there's a couple of leather flaws and just little things here and there. Uh, but once again, there were a pair that I got to sell and I'm going to get rid of them. Along with another five, final five, great fives. Uh, another pair that has a couple issues here and there. But overall, pretty clean shoe. Um, a lot of these shoes I would keep if I was looking to actually buy them to keep them. But just the way it worked out, I just have to get rid of them. And then the two Adidas from the beginning. So the Tricolor NMDs and the Yeezy NMDs. So all the, all the Jordans were size 11. All the... Both the LeBrons, this is not one of the pairs, it's just a paragraph. Both the LeBrons, size 11 and a half. And then these were size 11. So if you have any questions or want to try to purchase them, just feel free to comment down below. Or try to hit me up on uh, social media, which will be linked in the description down below. Uh, but next up is, as you can see, the rest of the collection, which is all Jordans. So starting off the Jordan collection is the Jordan AK AJK01 Sport Blue, or as I like to say, the Royals, closest thing to the Royals. Uh, they came out with the Breads and the Shadows, so these basically are the Royals. Uh, it's a different kind of like linen, if that's even the right word, material, but uh, it's not like a leather. There's leather up here and on the Nike swoosh, but other than that, there's no, no leather, but it still has Nike on the tongue. Uh, it's a nice, like pair if you can't afford to get like the real royals or the real breads or anything like that uh but i definitely will be looking for the royals since they are going to be retroing and then a pair that i really like but aren't really hyped that much are the jordan 7 french blues uh it's a very nice color uh, i really like light blue that's on the shoe it's on the jump man on the back and then here on the these parts of the seven and then also on the tongue and then the gray and the uh, navy blue all hint it, hit it very well. So they all very nice. And then the white tumble leather, it's a really nice touch. Uh, this was like one of the first like kind of like remastered pairs that Jordan started coming out with. But it's a very nice pair in my opinion. Also with like the silver aglets. But uh, yeah, really nice easy to wear pair. And another pair is the Jordan 13 Dirty Breads. Uh, this has this way that I was talking about where it kind of moves with your finger, kind of like that like uh, furniture, I guess you could say, but uh, I got these. Uh, I really like the Bread 13s. I'll probably wind up getting rid of these when the Bread 13s uh, re-release, so they'll be retroing soon, so these will probably be going soon as well. And then another pair that I have because I don't have the one I want is the Anthracite Jordan 9s. Uh, these are pretty nice. Uh, there's certain spots where the suede kind of does go, but uh, it's a nice darker shoe to wear. Uh, it's really pretty. It's pretty comfortable. Uh, I really want the cool gray nines instead, but these are a nice alternative, just like with the 13s. And then here are a pair of 10s from the Countdown Pack. I believe they're called the Stealth 10s or Shadow 10s, but uh, they have the white and red 23 on them and then a red jump on the back. I think without this 23, the shoe would look a lot better, but uh, it's not too bad. Uh, it's another one that I think was like a suede kind of, and there's leather on here, but uh, it's pretty basic, relaxed, laid back kind of Jordan, if that's how you're feeling for the day. And then next up is a lot of people's grails, one of my grails, uh, just because of the Issues are with it though, but the Aqua 8's not the retros that have the glitter on it and the gray uh, overlay here on the back. This is the, basically the all black pair with the Aqua and the purple on it. Uh, really nice shoe. Uh, the only issue is that they're starting to crack there and then there's a little bit of separation. Oops. Now you can start to, if it will focus, start to see right there but so eventually I'm sure I'll probably have to restore these get rid of these or buy a new pair but really nice shoe I really like the way eights look on feet and feel uh, but but probably have to fix those up eventually and then another older pair that I like is the stealth fives 
Uh, it's a gray and blue Jordan Retro. I really like the way, just like with the French blues, that they kind of go with each other. Uh, it's, as you can see, there's yellow in here on the netting and then on the sole. But this leather is just too nice. Uh, this pair is from 2006. So it's a pretty old pair. Uh, the soles are still pretty firm. 3M on the tongue. Blue jump man on the back. But uh, there's just I can just tell that these eventually are going to have their day where they're not just going to be wearable anymore. But I hope they retro these. This is a really nice colorway. Especially if you hit it with the light blue on the bottom. This would be a pair that would look really nice on. And then next up is another pair that retro that they kind of messed up in my opinion. Jordan 7 uh, Bordeaux. Uh, this pair, as you can see, does not have the black on the midsole and it does not look like it's made out of Play-Doh on the upper. As you can see, it also kind of has the suede that moves back and forth. You can really see it on this pair. A uh, really nice colorway, another subtle colorway, just gray and black with the burgundy and then the yellow, blue, and burgundy on the tongue. And then on the back, got the burgundy. Really nice classic uh, Jordan colorway that a lot of people have in their collection. And then another pair that I have is the Legend Blue. Okay, I don't know why it's sticking up. Legend, Legend Blue 11s. Uh, they got their inspiration from Columbia 11s that uh, Jordan wore in the All-Star game. Really nice colorway. Uh, this is not an icy sole. Even though you can't see like the yellowing from general wear and dirt. But it's kind of like a light blue. And then a light blue Jumpman. Uh, and then accents pretty much all around the shoe, but really nice like all white shoe to wear uh, It goes pretty well with a lot of outfits and then another pair that's really easy to match is the Jordan 12 taxis uh, Black and white pretty much like the Concord for the 12s you got the gold accents on it really classic colorway uh, They haven't retro these in a while uh, They came out with the Chinese New Year's which basically had gold here on this uh, Jumpman a branding here but this is a really nice pair another pair that has another nice leather but uh, not too worn and not too pricey and then probably my favorite 14 is the graphite Georgetown 13 14 sorry it's another pair suede it's really nice uh, nice like darker shades it's got navy blue with a black with a dark gray and then the next shoe is the Jordan 6 uh, Infrared, Varsity Red, Chicago Bull, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I call it the Infrared just because this is actually red. Uh, if you're going to call it Infrared, then it should actually be red, right? So, Infrared 6s from the Infrared Pack. Uh, I have the box set. I just don't have the black pair. But as you can see, the paint is starting to come off on these because all beautiful things have to come to an end. But uh, really nice pair if you put white red and black on any Jordan it's gonna look nice as you'll see in one of the top three Jordans I have in my collection but a little laminating but nothing too bad I keep them in the bag thing that it came with so that's what it's designed for I guess but really nice six I wish I had the black infrareds though those would be really nice and then next up is the Jordan 4 uh, cements with the Nike Air on the back uh, I had the, oops, I'm trying to mess with this shoe tree that I give you. I don't know why people clown Jordan Brand for like doing this. This is nice. I appreciate that. But anyways, uh, I had the Jumpman pair before, but the Nike Air I just had to get because one I need a half size up because I had only had a ten and a half. I need eleven and two. It's just better quality. I mean the leather is nice and the color of this. I like this gray more. It's a lighter gray. It matches more grays and. Just my pair had some yellowing on the netting and the uh, tag, I guess you could call it. But really nice pair of fours. I really like the fours, but uh, not too bad. I mean, there's not much you have to say about this shoe. And then another pair I have, Jordan 1 Bread Band, I guess you can call it. But they don't have the X on the back, so they're just breads, really. A really nice shoe really soft like leather I don't have anything in here but really soft leather a uh, really nice leather uh, they should put this kind of quality on all Jordans but I haven't had a pair of shattered backboards so I can't really say what's like the best leather but 
This is the best leather that I've had. It has the tumbled leather and then just a regular black, nice leather. Uh, as you can see, the shoe's pretty bendable, like even like the sole and stuff. But uh, these don't have the original insoles. These are from these insoles are from my Penny Fives, but uh, it's really comfortable. I don't know if it's that's just ones in general, or if that's because of the insoles I have in. But really nice pair. Glad to have them. Uh, they had, I mean, they were used when I got them, but cleaned them up a little bit so they look pretty nice on feet. And the last pair is my favorite pair of my whole collection since it is the last pair uh, means a lot to me it is the dorn becker 13s as you probably saw in the backdrop this whole time right there uh, means a lot to me uh, that word it's on the bottom is crohn's uh that's the disease both me and the kid who has who designed the shoe uh have uh it's a really nice shoe i'm sure i can go more in depth with it some other time but uh, every every detail on this shoe, like the wacky colors and everything, all have meaning to it. But real nice. It kind of has like an iridescent look to it when it hits the light. But uh, it's kind of hard to pull off, I guess you could say. But, I mean, I wear them because they have meaning. So, I wear them pretty much whenever I go uh, places that involve it. So, whenever I go to hospital to get my treatments or whatever. And whenever I go to like an event for it, I make sure I wear these. But uh, these were a little hefty of a buy, but thanks to Soul Supremacy, they took them down a little bit in price because I let them know that I was looking out for them. So thank you for looking out for me, Soul Supremacy. But uh, yeah, so these are the last pair that I will show you in my collection, the last pair of my collection. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, big shout out to Prep for always keeping my shoes clean. Uh, it's really good product really works it's really worth the money but yeah so that wraps up the video uh i'm just gonna pick up random shoes show them to you guys as i get done talking but if you have any suggestions or any ideas for future videos or any comments about the video feel free to leave them down below make sure you leave a like subscribe do all that kind of stuff i look forward to making more videos for you guys getting back on track with uploading all the time so in that way you guys get more content and i will be glad to be uploading more so once again like subscribe and see you guys next time